In this video, I'll show you how to enable TPM 2.0 on Windows as a preparation step for upgrading to Windows 11. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Once you've done that, please go down below and leave a like if you found this video useful. Now, let's dive into the steps. First, we'll open the PC Health Check app. After signing in, click on Check Now to see if your system meets the Windows 11 requirements. It might take a moment for the check to refresh, and hopefully, within a few hours, you'll be informed that your PC meets the necessary criteria. Next, head over to the Windows Update settings. You'll notice that the system will still display a message indicating that your PC doesn't currently meet the requirements. This is because the TPM 2.0 feature hasn't been enabled yet. To enable TPM 2.0, we need to access the boot settings. You need to restart your PC and press F10 or F11 to access the PC boot menu. If you're using an MSI latest motherboard, you will find the TPM option in the main interface, just like mine. You can enable it from there. However, if you're using a different motherboard, you'll need to look for the option named Trusted Computing. Press the Enter key to select Trusted Computing, then move down and press Enter again to highlight Security Device Support. Press Enter once more, and you'll see the TPM status. If it's disabled, press the Enter key to toggle it on. After enabling TPM 2.0, save your changes by pressing the Escape key twice. Then click Save Changes and Reboot to apply the settings. Once your PC restarts, open the PC Health Check app again and click Check Now. This time, you should see a message confirming that your system meets the Windows 11 requirements. If this video helped you, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel for more helpful guides. Leave a like if you found this information useful, and feel free to drop a comment with any questions or feedback. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.